Hi. Well, here we are, the argument of causation essay. The causal argument essay is to be a minimum of 2,000 words in which you present and support an argument of causation as defined in Everything's an Argument, Chapter 11. So clearly the first thing we need to do is read Chapter 11 in Everything's an Argument. Okay, so that's our first task. Your essay must cite a minimum of eight outside sources. So we've bumped up the word count, right? We were 1,500, now we're 2,000. And while we were, there's 2,000, now we were, we were six, now we're eight, eight outside sources, six of which originate in print or have print analog. Remember, that means they are books, magazines, newspapers, academic journals, government reports. It doesn't matter how you get them. You can get them online. Most people do, um, but they're print analogs if you do. These sources must be presented in correct MLA fashion with both parenthetical in-text documentation and a works cited page. Dictionaries, encyclopedias, and other general reference works do not count as sources, although they can be used. They just don't count towards your minimum requirement. Four of your sources must be scholarly works, such as dissertations, academic journal articles, or books published by a university press. So we drop this requirement in the definition essay. It's back on for the causation essay. We did, of course, have it for the first essay, your fact essay. Also, and here's our little twist, you must have a works consulted page with at least two sources. Now the works consulted is actually really easy. It's probably the easiest little twist, if you will, that we do in these papers. Works consulted page is done just like the works cited page and it should follow the works cited page. So if the works cited is all about works that were cited. That means they were quoted, paraphrased, referenced, used in some way. You took a figure or a table from them, uh, an image of some kind, perhaps. In some way, they were mentioned in your essay. That's in the works cited. The works consulted, on the other hand, is for works that are relevant, useful, but did not make the final cut into your final draft. In other words, they're not quoted or paraphrased. They're consulted by you, but they were not cited by you. Okay, so that's pretty easy. The topic will be a topic of your own choosing. But just as a reminder, there are a few topics that are off limits, abortion, death penalty, child abuse, and religion, just like we did previous essays. Certainly, there are many other topics to choose from. Again, I do have a list of sample topics. This is not a list that you have to follow, not by any means. Okay, it's just a, a way to sort of look at the kinds of things that make for good causation essays. Please remember you must provide a word count of your essay at the end of the text. Do not include the name block works cited table or figure in your word count if you have one or the works consulted of course doesn't count either now you're to submit a proposal to me on canvas by monday april 15th 11:59 p.m so almost two full weeks the proposal should be written as described in chapter 11 page 280. we continue to use the tolman model so include claims reasons warrants remember the claim is your thesis or your argument, basically what you're going to prove. The reasons are, of course, the major points of support for your claim. You can kind of think of them as previewing the topic sentences, the parts of the essays that you're going to be writing in the main body. The warrants are the assumptions, the logical assumptions that connect the reasons to the claim. Okay, in Tolman, Tolman argued that it's not automatic 
to bring the reasons to the claim. You have to have a warrant. The warrant may be an authority warrant, which is probably the most common warrant that we deal with. That is, we trust the sources. The warrant may also be a value warrant. For example, we share similar values. The warrant may also involve a use of sources. In other words, the sources are correctly used. The evidence is, is fair, accurate, right? It's, it's about how the source material is actually being used. That's another type of warrant. Now, in addition to what is described there on page 280, and don't forget your bullet points, right? Why does this issue deserve attention? You know, et cetera, et cetera. Again, look at page 80, 280, excuse me, 280, uh, to see those bullet points. I also want you to include four sources in an annotated bibliography, which means including an MLA entry and a paragraph of description and evaluation for each source. So you're talking about what it is and why it's good, what you're going to get out of it. Now, as I did in the previous two assignments, I will be creating workshop groups in which you submit your rough draft by Wednesday, April 24th, 11.59 p.m. for peer editing within the group. This draft should be as full and complete as possible, meeting all the minimum standards required for the assignment. The more work you put into the draft, the better your final draft will be. Based on previous experience, I can tell you that the difference in the grades of essays that have been peer edited and those that have not is striking. Be sure to consult the out of class essay guidelines and the MLA handout, which of course is on your canvas, right, in the modules, so that you avoid errors in presentation and style. Peer editing is to be done by Friday, April 26th. 11.59 p.m. You will need to revise and polish your essay and turn in the final draft on Monday, April 29, 11.59 p.m. No late essays will be accepted by a verifiable medical or legal excuse. So just to return, the minimum requirements are at least 2,000 words, so we've upped that limit, right? At least eight sources, six of which originate in print. At least four of those sources are from scholarly works, which means things like dissertations, academic journals, university press books, other highly credible scholarly sources. Okay. MLA documentation for both in text and works cited page, and a works consulted page with at least two sources. And once again, let me remind you the works consulted is done just like the works cited page. It should follow the work cited on its own page. And it is for works that are relevant to your topic. They're good sources, but they just didn't get used in your particular essay. Okay. As always, if you have questions about any of this, please contact me either through the inbox system, my district email, or if you happen to be on campus, you can pop in at my office hours. That's always a really enjoyable experience when I get to meet my online students in person. Have a good day.